Hi everybody, so if you're a regular viewer of the channel you might remember this thing, it's one of the rocket stoves we made. I'll put a link in at the end of the video to how we made this, we made two of them. This one has seen some amazing service, we used it as a rocket stove, we made a sand battery out of it, we made a, a sterling engine that we put on it and generated from it, we've done some stuff with this and of course I'm going to be using it again because you remember this? We used our biodiesel to work this primer stove, now all of these things actually pretty much work on the same principle. You pass the pipe through a heat that preheats it and that means that the fuel is easier to vaporise and there was a, an oil lamp, an uh, alcohol lamp, very popular on the net a few years ago which was a, a ring of copper with a hole in it. The hole was at the bottom, the flame burnt, preheated the ethanol and you got like a jet stream coming out of it in this amazing alcohol stove. Primus works the same and we're going to use that principle to try and turn our rocket stove into a biodiesel powered rocket stove as a heater. Now they get up to some temperature these things, even just on wood burning this will get to five or six hundred degrees centigrade no problem at all. If we're adding a jet of fuel like that well we can expect hundreds of degrees and so we perhaps want something robust in there. I've got this, which is microbore copper pipe, it's 8mm copper pipe. It's meant to be bent so it's easy to bend and it bends over fairly slack radiuses really quite nicely. Over a tight radius you're probably better filling it with um, dry sand and then bending it on a former. But we're going to be using this and it may not stand up to the temperatures but it will show the proof of principle. And what we're going to do is form a preheater coil and then a hole in the end of the pipe so we can jet the fuel out. Pop that in here, we'll use a fire to preheat it and that's the plan. So let's fill this with sand and get bending. So there's the coil all bent up and I've made this which is a really simple, it's just two 90 degree bends and then a stop end on there and I'll drill a hole in that stop end. And this then slides on there like that and that's our burner head and we can angle that so it shoots the flame in the centre there. So that's our burner head, it's our preheater coil and this is the feed pipe because the whole thing is just meant to slide in like that. So that's it finished. Now the essential components are the burner head and then the heater coil, so this is the preheater coil. Then of course we've got our feed, control valve and a reservoir. And this is made so that it can just go in like that and that is our oil burning rocket stove. Now of course there are things wrong with it, this is a test version for me to work out some ideas. Uh, I mean this is as wobbly as they come okay, so you know you'd really need to fix your oil store down but of course that's a pipe to wherever your oil store is. This is so I can test it, so the only thing left to do now really is fill it with oil and start a fire. Let's do that! So I've set it up outside and it is raining but we're still going to get it dry now. Something like this should work on biodiesel, vegetable oil, motor oil and we're going to try vegetable oil. So fill up the reservoir with vegetable oil, get a fire going in here. You have a number of options on that. One is a drip tray with some wool in it and just like the oil. I'm going to put some wood in there and start the fire and we'll see if we can get this thing rip roaring and ready to go. That's actually that's working. Look at that. Jeez, wow, look at that. Wow, that's, that's really spitting out some flames. It is. Let's see if we can get a top shot. <laughs> that's actually cooking. Look at that. <laughs> So it survived its almost literal baptism of fire. Now we used vegetable oil so it's bound to work better actually with biodiesel because the biodiesel has a lighter weight so it'll vaporise more easily. Vegetable oil is a bit of a challenge but we got it to work with vegetable oil and we got a really roaring flame out of that. 
I thought it was awesome, to be honest. Now, as I've said, this is prototype, so I probably won't use copper. What I'd probably use is steel, to be honest. And it burnt with quite a yellow flame, if you remember. And that's really lack of oxygen. So some more oxygen holes here would probably uh, work really well. Now the coil actually sits about there. It might be better if you move the coil into this region because you've got this extra air intake, remember, and so that's going to be a really hot region. So we put it there, maybe we should put it there, and we should get some more air holes in there. But there you go, we have made an oil stroke biodiesel burning rocket stove. Anyway, I hope this idea inspires you. I hope that you um, do some of your own actually and, and uh, let me know how you're doing and what you're getting on with. Thank you very much for watching this video and please do remember to like and subscribe.